Am I the asshole? For telling my infertile in-laws that their dog is not equal to a child? Two years ago, my husband and I became pregnant. This was huge for us, as we both have always been really passionate about becoming parents. Before we could tell anyone, my husband's brother and his wife told the family that they had been trying to conceive but found out they couldn't. Apparently my sil feared this due to past medical problems, but now it was confirmed by doctors. They were devastated, and we were heartbroken for them. My husband and I decided to hold off on announcing. We waited three months, but then I was starting to show and we no choice. A week after we announced, my Bill and Sil adopted a dog named Bella. Immediately she was all they talked about and they refused to go anywhere without her. We used to be close, but this has ruined our relationships with them. My husband and his brother don't hang out anymore because my Bill is so obsessed with Bella that he's hard to talk to. Bill's lost friends over this obsession, and Sil has quit her job so she doesn't have to spend any time away from the dog. We even stopped our weekly family dinners because Bella barks non-stop, pulls food off the table, bites, etc. She's a nightmare. Plus my husband is allergic, and can't be around her for longer than an hour anyway. Bill and Sil call Bella the first grandchild or the first last name girl there hasn't been a girl born into the family in five generations, which bothers me because my daughter is those things not the dog. They think my daughter and their dog should be treated equally, and get upset when they are not. Even when I gave birth and people were reaching out to check on me and my daughter, they sulked and made a long post on FB saying they were hurt no one had done the same for them when they adopted their dog. I've been biting my tongue about it for over a year because I know that they are coping with an extremely painful situation, but this week I finally snapped. Recently, a relative invited us and baby to their wedding, but told my in-laws explicitly not to bring Bella. On Sunday, as my husband and I were just about to leave his parents' house, I heard Bill say that if his dog wasn't invited, then my daughter shouldn't be either. Why should they get to bring her if we can't bring Bella? They say things like that all the time, but this time I finally snapped and said, because Bella is a dog and my daughter is an actual human baby. My child and your pet are not the same. We left, but later my Bill called my husband to say that I had really hurt them and made myself cry. My husband says that I shouldn't have said anything and should take it back. I know their dog is like their child, and I don't mean to be cruel or insensitive, but I am also so tired of hearing them compare my daughter to a dog, and I don't want her to grow up around people who think she is equal to a poorly behaved animal. Am I the asshole? I mean. My cat was my mom's first grandchild by a few years. No one took it seriously. Later on as more piled in, she'd pull out her phone to show off the human grandkids to people and as scrolling through she'd have pictures of my cat in the folder, and she'd just laugh oh there's the first. But it was a joke. I'd never for a second think she rated along a human and no one was confused. Sounds like they really need therapy. If everything you wrote here is true I can't imagine this even needs to be said. Of course not the asshole. If you care about those people, they need counseling. They are delusional. Why do people enable this nonsense? I'm really having a hard time believing the details in the story. I really think that I want to believe that you are really inflating their behavior surrounding the dog. Even just by your title, I was so ready to call you the whole. But good lord if this story is even 70 reality and still 30 hyperbole then that is absolutely awful. I would have to say you're not the asshole, and also that this couple needs therapy, immediately and badly. Not the asshole. You are correct, your child is not the same as their dog, and they shouldn't be making that comparison or expecting their dog to be treated the same way as a human child. They legit need therapy. Not the asshole. People like your in-laws make dog owners look horrible. They need intense mental health treatment. Not a dog. Not the asshole. You held your tongue with understanding that their infertility is a heartache for them, 
but they ramped it up by saying that your child shouldn't be invited to a wedding because their dog couldn't go, essentially saying your child doesn't deserve to be treated like a full human because their dog isn't treated like a full human. Their grief doesn't entitle them to treat your child like she's not fully human. They think my daughter and their dog should be treated equally. Well for a kid Bella behave really badly. Why do they let their kid bite and bark? That's no behavior to a human kid. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, but it hinged quite a bit on how accurately you quoted the words you said and the situation in which they were said. I've known people who replace kids with dogs because they can't get pregnant and it's kind of a time bomb that blows up when the dog inevitably dies at least in my experience. Sounds like they need therapy to help them through such a tough emotional blow and maybe also consider adoption. Not the asshole I know this story is hard to believe but my male thinks her dog is equal to my daughter and it's honestly annoying and disrespectful. Big yikes, and not the asshole. I have two dogs. I love my two dogs. I sometimes refer to them as idiot teenagers, but they are not people, and they are not equivalent to my niece or any other human children. Acting like your dog is literally a human child who should be treated the same as a human child is unhinged. I have sympathy for their infertility, but this is actually unhealthy at this point. They need therapy, or a cold bucket of water. Not the asshole. Once again, husband problem. If he truly thinks your very valid statement should be taken back, then he should do it while holding your little girl while making his take back statement in front of your in laws, and both sets of parents, and any other relatives who happen to be around. I suggest doing this at Thanksgiving or Christmas, if your family gathers for one or the other of those events. I understand their pain but it's so incredibly frustrating. My close friend and her partner is dog obsessed. She got me to babysit and I agreed right away thinking it was her toddler and I've got two toddlers so I was more than okay to help out for a couple of hours. It was their dog, and they wanted me to bring their dog inside my kids daycare when I picked them up. They got worse when they started trying for their second child and not having luck conceiving. So they started treating the dog as their son's sibling. I have a dog too but I don't treat him like a human. Not the asshole. Your husband should stay away from that Kool-Aid. Sounds like he's already had a sip or two. Not the asshole I think though a lot of compassion will need to be used to handle this because this isn't about the dog, this is your in-laws grieving over never having a child and handling it in a really poor way. Don't lose sight of the fact it is a form of grief. I don't know if you have the right ears to listen but I think your husband at the least needs to start pushing them towards some sort of grief counseling. This can't continue, if their ability to earn an income and maintain healthy relationships is being affected they need to talk this out. This is above your pay grade. Nata, but your sill and bill have a very unhealthy coping mechanism. Not the asshole those in-laws in therapy. Fuck them and fuck your husband. Dog people will go out of their way to say you're the villain but not the asshole.